but it meant that everybody was starting their social media journey all over again. Okay, like a hard, a hard reset. And, and if you think about that hard reset, you can think, well, actually, who do I want in my circle of, of influence? Who do I want to talk to? Who do I want to spend time listening to? And for me, as I say, that, that gave me the opportunity to look very hyper-local as to who are the accounts here in Cambly, who are the accounts in Farnborough, who do I want to follow? And it was a really interesting opportunity that when you saw somebody new pop up in uh, Farnborough or Camberley or Guildford and it says, uh, you know, they've start, set, posted their first thread, I'd then comment on it and say, welcome to, to Threads. Uh, great to see you here. Tell us about your business. And it sparked so many conversations with new people that I never would have connected with before. Whereas Twitter, um, there's a lot of political parties on there. There's a lot of political bots that are driving messages. Um, in a very different way than than uh, the newer platforms at the moment. There's there's a lot of new social media platforms out there. Mastodon's another one. Uh, there's another one called Blue Sky that's just in beta phase at the moment. So that kind of social media landscape is is changing as we as we speak. I've noticed that on my um, change of my web theme and stuff. There's a lot more social media icons appearing. I think oh that's new. That's not seen that. So I still kind of stick to like your Facebook and your, your Twitter or, or kind of X yeah. now. Um, and Instagram, I find um, TikTok's kind of, I, I think TikTok is very much, um, um, what you call it, um, it's, there's so many people on it to point it, you can't, you can't make any kind of movement forward. Yeah. So we are post some stuff on there, like the other day, Alex did something really funny, uh, couldn't stop him giggling, was just in an intro, put it up on there, within like seconds it rose to 2,000 views, then it kind of just stopped. And then I posted um two outtakes from tammy's video we did at the dressing up shop and um, i did it on shorts on youtube yeah. and jumped to twelve thousand views within an hour it's like well that does more than it, shorts. it's phenomenal how the different audiences yeah. and the different platforms can have totally different effect on the same piece of content and if you repost the same piece of content that's done particularly well sometimes it will do really well again and other times it will uh, absolutely bottom out so so the, the kind of algorithms that sit behind there there's a lot of people that say, oh, we can hack the algorithm, we can do this, that and the other. But sometimes it just feels like you're in the hand of the gods when when you're posting something. Just pray and yeah. <laughs> post and pray. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, your, your favourite top two um, social media platforms? I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn.